If you ask most people out there to define the Second Amendment, even in their own words, they'd say it's our right to own and possess firearms. But that is not what that means. And I'm here to tell you, the Second Amendment does not mean that you are allowed to own firearms. What the Second Amendment means is that you're allowed to own all arms because it specifically doesn't say the right to bear firearms. It says the right to bear arms. Recently, a couple U.S. federal court cases have made it clear that this isn't about firearms. This is about all weapons. In the U.S. Eastern District Court of New York, Maloney versus Singas, a judge ruled that nunchucks uh, were permitted, that in this state, that nunchucks were banned. And the U.S. federal judge said, no, you can have nunchucks under the Second Amendment. Also in Massachusetts, Ramirez versus the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Massachusetts Supreme Court ruled that a ban on stun guns was unconstitutional. It says that regulation on all weapons is unconstitutional under the Second Amendment. So this is pepper spray, knives, clubs, nunchucks, and firearms, all of the above. Anything that you might use as a weapon qualifies under the Second Amendment. Well, why? Well, because when the Second Amendment was written, common arms weren't just firearms. Um, now, firearms were a household item, but a lot of people use knives and clubs and rocks and slingshots and that sort of thing. And that's really what this is about, is what is the Constitution really saying? Because even in Missouri, uh, you know, here we're a very free state when it comes to guns, but there's all sorts of rules on knives and other weapons. Um, that are unconstitutional and in violation of the Second Amendment. I'm willing to bet that almost every state in the Union has some sort of violation of the Second Amendment that doesn't apply to firearms. And it's good that now U.S. federal courts are starting to recognize that as well. So that's what this video is about, is this idea that the Second Amendment isn't your right to bear firearms, it's your right to bear all arms. And it's time that we have this dialogue realistically about this. I wanna take a moment in this video and thank Max Safes for not only supporting this channel, but providing some of the greatest vein recognition safes on the market. That link is below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests and never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.